In the 1950s and 1960s, the U.S. Army was very interested in the concept of flying jeeps, wanting to develop a ground or low-altitude flying vehicle with better mobility than a car. In 1960, the Curtis Wright Corporation designed the Air Car 2500 to cater to the military's preferences, which initially sparked the interest of the military. Although the Air Car 2500 is usually referred to as a car, it is more like a hovercraft with the appearance of a sedan. Its basic operating structure utilizes a cushion of air, and a total of two were built and underwent some operational testing. The vehicle's body, resembling a rectangular box, is made of a steel tube frame covered with pressed metal plates. The body can be divided into three large sections, front and rear power compartments and a middle section for the cockpit and passenger cabin, accommodating up to four people. Each power compartment is equipped with a 180 horsepower Lycoming aircraft engine, each driving a set of four blade fans to create a cushion of air beneath the vehicle. Small rubber skirts on the underside of the vehicle block the airflow to enhance the cushion effect, with the skirt height ranging from 15 to 30 centimeters. The vehicle's sides feature louvered vents, which can be adjusted to control the vehicle's forward movement and turning by manipulating the size and direction of the side airflow. To resemble a car, the Air Car 2500 is equipped with a lighting system similar to that of a car, including front and rear bumpers, a soft roof for the passenger cabin, and a steering wheel and control devices for the driver. The Air Car 2500 is 6.4 meters long, 2.4 meters wide, and 1.5 meters high, weighing 1130 kilograms and designed to carry a load of 450 kilograms. Theoretically, the vehicle can travel on water like a hovercraft and is fully capable of driving on flat terrain. The onboard fuel can support the vehicle's operation for two hours. The U.S. Army's Transportation Department received two Air Car 2500 vehicles and conducted operational tests, but the results were very unsatisfactory. The vehicles could only travel on well-paved flat roads and calm waters, and were unable to operate in rough terrain. Even under these conditions, the vehicles could only reach a maximum speed of 60 km per hour, and the loud noise inside the vehicle greatly affected its operation. The inadequate performance was due to insufficient engine power and the poor design of the vehicle's air cushion system, which limited its maneuverability. The vehicle's design load capacity of 450 kg was also weak, indicating the need for improvement as a military transport vehicle. Although the Curtis Wright Corporation proposed an optimized design later on, the U.S. military terminated the project in 1961. Two prototype vehicles were produced, with one preserved in the U.S. Army Transportation Museum in Virginia, and the other ending up in the hands of a private collector in a very poor state of preservation.